legends, heroes, and poopy heads. Welcome to the Omni Flash channel, where Omni Flash will take gaming to the next level. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Omni Flash, and I am your guide to Perfect World Mobile. So I've I've been reading your comments. I've got a lot of new players are joining Perfect World Mobile. So we're making a video just for you. Welcome to Perfect World Mobile. This video is going to show you the best classes and help you choose the class to start with okay so this game perfect world mobile is a true mmorpg with a true healer that is needed for every dungeon there is a true tank that can control aggro that can taunt and control aggro on all the mobs in a dungeon so you need a healer you need a you need a tank we're going to talk about what damage dealers what dps you will need and this will sort of flesh out the S tier and the A rank classes for Perfect World Mobile. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, smash that notification bell so that you know when the next video is coming out. And comment below. Let me know what videos you might be interested in. I'll try to turn these videos out as quickly as possible to get you into Perfect World Mobile so that you can be the best. And uh, if you do all that, you'll be entered into a drawing on October 15, 2020 to get a free $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card, okay? All right, so first off, uh, before we start, there is a thing. <clears throat> you have four character slots, okay, for your account, for the server that you're playing. There is no delete character, all right? There is no delete character. Before you start, randomly choosing characters you know just if you have to have more than four characters you actually have to like make a new google account or a new facebook in order to get more characters on that server there is no delete so it's important to sort of have an idea of what class you want to do you can't make four characters delete and then make the other characters you can't play all of them if you want them all on the same account you can't you have to choose four of the classes that you want also there are a few classes that are gender locked so I'll, I'll go through that also this is important if you want to get married in perfect world mobile it is a little tougher to find female perfect world mobile players be, uh, if you are also a female class there are a ton of female players in perfect world mobile a ton there's got to be like 33%. However, about 90% of those 33% do play female characters. So if you want to marry one, you're going to probably have to be a male character. All right, so <clears throat> here we go. This is the first class. This is my first class as a cleric. Super fun to play. You are essential to every party. You can also do dungeons that is recommended BR is 100k to 200k higher than you a very free to play class as long as you are skilled as a cleric I do a lot of cleric videos because I still have a cleric and I can show you how to heal and um, definitely yeah yeah you'll get lots of guidance from me if you'd be a cleric there is one thing is that clerics are are amazing healers but if you want to do damage with them, you can. But then you will be a damage dealer and you will be required to have the same battle rating as the other damage dealers. So you can't be a low BR uh, cleric and expect to be wanted as a damage dealer on a dungeon. All right, so you're ex you normally do this dungeon that's 100 to 200k BR higher than you because you're healing. People will not take you as a damage dealer. Because you're going to have to be, let's say this, this dungeon is 500k BR, okay? And you normally heal it as a 350k BR cleric. You can't damage deal that. You can't go demon and expect other players to choose you as damage dealer. You're going to have to be 500k BR. So, so yes, clerics can do damage in dungeons. They're more of a single target dungeon. All right, so we're going to the tank. The tank, this is the Barbarian class, also one of my favorite classes. Very free to play. 
uh, also top tier. This is a super class because of the innate skill. When you are a tank, when you go into tiger mode, you become a tank because you get five times of the P defense and M defense. Your stats in, in, uh, in regular humanoid form is like everyone else. However, when you turn into a tiger, your stats jumps 500%. Plus your block goes up five times. So that is why block, block is a stat that only works for tanks. And you're gonna to need to get 100% block if you go tank. And that halves the damage you deal. It's because as a tank, you turn to tiger form and you are a true tank. You get five times more block. And that's why everyone else can maybe get 30% block. You can get 100 and 30% block because you get five times of it. So this is a true tank. You have a many different aggro skills. Even in PvP, your taunts work. So let's say everyone is focused on one target, trying to kill that squishy target in PvP. A tank will go in and taunt the enemy players and they will lose that target. And if you lose, if you lost the target, and everyone's running around, it is very hard to be focusing. So, so tanks are essential to PvE and PvP. Once again, a Barbarian can DPS if they go Demon. Uh, they're very good at PvP uh, DPS. Not so good as uh, PvE DPS. But once again, if you want a DPS, you cannot be lower BR. As a tank, you can be lower BR as long as you have good HP, good P defense, good M defense, and a good block, 100% block. You can be lower BR by 100, 200K. However, if you are a tank and you want to DPS, you probably have to be 100K more BRs because you're just not, you're just not meant to PVE DPS. All right, so we're gonna go to the real DPS. Real DPS, we have Archer. Archer is S tier in everything. Uh, ex and in PvP, S tier. S tier PvP early on for maybe about eight months, maybe nine months, S tier in everything. Archers are needed in every dungeon run. Every, any, any hard dungeon runs, you need an archer because they have a debuff. They have a splintering arrow shot that will decrease the boss's HP by like 10% HP. So every, every party is going to want at least one archer. Now one thing that you want to know is can I change from sage class to demon class? Every class you can go from sage to demon as many times as you want per day. The first time per day is free. After that, it is 30,000 silver, which isn't that much. So a lot of times archers will go from demon to sage depending on what they're doing. For example, if you're going to guild league or territory war, the pushback, the pushback and the range that you get from sage archer is very useful. You will go in and you will push the enemy team off the point and your team can actually take over very very useful so archers are s class in that as well and so so archers are king for about eight months after that assassins come out and they get knocked down a, a notch simply because assassins are better at pvp in single target small scale pvp all right so we're going to the next class Archers excel at single target damage, while wizards are the master of AOE damage. So every single dungeon party is going to try to get one wizard. The wizards will clear the mobs, clear the smaller monsters in that dungeon so much faster. And if you're doing a mirage dungeon or something that is timed, you're going to be able to do that dungeon a lot faster. So if you're running out of time, a wizard will help you as well. A wizard can also burst down enemies in PvP, especially in mass PvP. A wizard's very good for mass PvP. They, they can drop rocks 
and, and blizzards on everybody. Extremely strong for PvP, even in uh, 6v6 Realm War, very strong for the first eight months. Of course, assassins come out and just destroy every class. So, I mean, if you want to class change to assassin when they do come out, it is very easy to do that. I do recommend that you get the monthly. The monthly pack will get you will get you bound un, uh, will get you unbound ingots. Save those so that in the future if you want to class change, save the unbound ingots so that you can class change in the future if you want to. You can use those unbound ingots from your monthly packs. Wizards are the god of AoE damage, so they are super strong in PvE, and uh, they are super strong in PV in mass PvP, simply because if everyone is standing on one point trying to protect that point, their damage is going to hit everyone on that spot. So the trade-off is that a wizard has huge AoE damage, however those skills take a little longer to cast. So they will need a little bit of more protection so that they can get those skills off in a small and small scale pvp all right so we're going to the next damage dealer class which is the blade master they specialize in spears and in axes you can actually switch from axe to spear in mid battle this class is an a tier you are also bound as a male Blade Master. The reason it's A grade simply because you have to be frontline. You can't kite. You, your melee class, you have some sort of range if you're using a spear. You have a little bit of range. You kind of have some range. But you're still you're still going to you can't really kite and you can't turn invisible. So it's it's sort of like you can't really tank either. So <clears throat> It's it's A grade. Blade Master is A grade for PVE and PVP. You're gonna be a little annoyed because everyone is gonna want your buff. Because you have a great really good buff. However, they don't really want you in their party, they just want your party buff. Of course, if you have really high battle rating, if you're really strong, then yeah, they'll still want you in their party. The next class is the Volpine, a very cool class. Their specialty in PvP is that they have a Chi skill which can detect assassins, which is really cool. Assassins know this and they sort of have to avoid you or they have to try to kill you first. Volpines are in a tough spot in PvE. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have kind of higher battle rating in order to do the same amount of damage that a wizard can. So Volpine is kind of like a wizard, except they can only be a wizard if they have a phoenix pet. So so I'll, I'll try to make a Volpine guide in the future. You got to get that phoenix pet, and I'll, I'll show you how to get that phoenix pet. That's, that's, a good, that's a good video idea. So you want your focus is probably to somehow get that phoenix pet. I'll, I'll figure out a way for you to get your Phoenix Pet fast. Because the Phoenix Pet does so much damage. I don't recommend the Hercules Pet. Doesn't really do much damage and can't really tank that well. A lot of people like it. I don't. I think that instead of getting Eidolon Shards uh, for that uh, for that Hercules, you should get you should get a Goblin. The Goblin will help you do higher higher PvE dungeons. Goblins is just a nice survivability. Alright, so in summary, the Vulpine is A grade in PvE and also A grade in PvP. I mean, it's a good class, but it's just a little bit harder to play. You're going to have higher battle rating in order to do the same in order to do the same things. People aren't going to you're not absolutely necessary in a PvE dungeon as much as a wizard. Everyone's going to be looking for a wizard. So basically, they're going to want a wizard over you. I mean, if you have if you have if you have a phoenix, you can possibly match the damage of a wizard. So yeah, you're going to need a phoenix in order to match the damage of a wizard. In PvP, this fox form is really nice. 
You, uh, but you can't actually PVE with Fox Form very well because you have to get so close. Fox Form, you have melee damage, all right? So you sort of claw your enemy, and getting that close, you, you sort of blow up. You're just not as tanky as a, as a, as a tiger. In PvE as a Vulpine, I sort of cycle through all of the skills in Sage, go into Fox Form, cycle through all the skills in Fox Form, go back to Sage, cycle through all the skills, go back to Fox Form, cycle through all the skills. So it's a little bit more involved. And as Fox, you're going to have to sort of dodge damage. So if you want to match damage, it's tougher as a Vulpine, you have to keep changing from from sage to demon I mean from from humanoid to fox from fox to humanoid you have to do that in order to sort of try to match the damage so you can't be lazy if you want to DPS in a PvE dungeon all right so the last class is assassin assassin is an amazing PvP class a little tougher for PvE it's gonna come in the future so like I said I recommend getting the monthly pack. I mean, it's, it gives you unbound ingots, which you save just in case if you want to change to assassin in the future. Now, if you change to assassin, it's going to be a little tougher to PvE. They aren't very needed in PvE. They, they kind of suck in PvE. I mean, they, they have to stand next to a boss, and they're not tanky. It's going to strain your healer because they take a lot more damage if they don't dodge the AoEs. So, I mean, but but the, the good thing about Assassin is their burst. They have lots, low cooldowns, super fast skills, they go invisible, extremely good in PvP. So, so you know, I mean, I like this class because it's overpowered in PvP but underpowered in PvE, sort of balancing it out. So, so I mean, assassins are great. You, you probably don't have assassins available for you yet. So if you want to, in the future, get into assassins, start buying those monthly packs. I mean, it's not that much. I think it's like $5.99 a month. Get you a ton, ton of ingots, and you will save the unbound ingots for the future if you want a class change. I hope this guide helped you. Give this guide to your entire guild, to your friends, so that they can choose the best class for them. I'm so happy that you guys are joining. If you have any questions, feel free to question below, and I will answer as quickly as possible. I'll see you guys in the next video.